Here's some uh, graphical information. Now, I want to get Excel uh, to be able to read this information. And this presentation is going to show you how, uh, how we can achieve that. Uh, this is a, a classic kind of problem if you've got any um, empirical information that uh, you want to include into uh, a design calculation. So I guess the first thing we do is we convert uh, the uh, graphical information into tabular information and you can see this is what I've actually done here. Uh, so th there's uh, an axis here which is uh, uh, defined by a parameter e upon t so I've lifted that there and then we want to read off particular z values off the curve so 1 reads off at 0.39 so that's the first point and I continue uh, through 2 reading off at uh, 0.55 uh, and I continue until I have all my information of there. Uh, I can dispense with the information now and I can graph this information and it should look almost the same. Uh, and uh, here's the uh, same information this time uh, it's been included in a chart, a normal XY scatter chart within Excel. But here comes the, uh, the clever bit. We're, we're going to use trend lines now to find a good equation that fits this data. So we have a choice of uh, a number of trend lines we can uh, use here. I'm going to select a, a polynomial and in the options section I can ask to display an equation on a chart. Okay, well there's a trend line and it's okay but it doesn't fit too well the curve in Excel. That's the equation of the trend line here so that's uh, something I can copy and include into uh, an Excel formula if, if I so wished. But I think before I do that I'm going to get a, a better fit for this curve. So I'm going to format the trend line, I go back to type and I'm going to use a third order polynomial to fit this time. And I think that, that fit seems much better. I'm going to use that now. Uh, sometimes uh, I find that it's worth formatting this number. Uh, sometimes there isn't enough uh, significant digits in there so I tend to format that into a scientific notation and usually three or four significant digits uh, are what's required. So it's easy now for me to copy this formula just using the clipboard and paste it into the contents of a cell. And in fact that's what I've done over this side of the spreadsheet if I can just uh, find it. It's down here. There's the e upon t parameter which is set as 4 and uh, here's the uh, equation, the uh, uh, third order polynomial equation that I've copied uh, from the trend line. Uh, I've displayed the formula here uh, using the XLC add-in uh, from XLCalcs.com but you can see how it's reading off uh, a z value for a given uh, uh, e upon t value and that's that's all you have to do. So you can use trend lines and obtain an equation and using that equation you can encode uh, a spreadsheet cell. That's how you get graphical or tabular data into your calculations. Thanks for listening.